Hey friends, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah from Pies and Pros, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a little kitchen tour. So I haven't shared any serious house updates in a while with you. Um, it's still in development, but I am very excited to share the kitchen with you today because I just recently finished it or, you know, furnished and filled up the space and made the countertops look cozy and stuff so i think it's going to be really great it has a lot of autumnal and halloween decor out right now so it's perfect for the season i kind of want to stay in this room all the time because it's so cozy it's just a nice space that i'm really happy to be in right now so i'm excited to share that with you and i'm not going to blab too much if you're liking this video at any point feel free to like it and definitely subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you a part of this channel but that's all for now. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I'll start with this side. It's pretty simple. It is the dining table that is part of the kitchen as a whole. We've got this carpet here that I believe I got from World Market. Uh, the dining set was actually gifted by my mom uh, when we first moved in. We got some cute garlands in the back, but over here is quite simple and straightforward. Nothing fancy. The main part that I want to show you is over here. This is where all of the decor is going to be. Very excited to share it with you, but starting over here, you have probably seen this many times, even at the apartment. This is a garden system. It's like an indoor hydroponic plant system where you can grow your own produce, whatever it may be. Uh, and it was gifted to me. Thank you, garden, so much. I love my garden. <laughs> and this is garden with a Y, by the way. I'll link information down below if you're interested in that. I do have, I think, a hundred dollars, a hundred dollar coupon for that. This is the main counter space. It goes all the way around to the end over there. Starting from this side, first of all, I have talked about this in the past, but the tile backsplash is not actually tile it is a sticker it is a decal sticker sort of situation Ian put it in it looks fantastic and people really love it whenever they come over um, so very proud about that good job Ian and then the countertop I I don't really like the countertop but it's got like a marble design on it this is something that I'll eventually fix later down the line as well as the cabinets I kind of don't like that they're white I feel like they get stained really easily and I'm constantly cleaning them but we'll see um, and then over here we kind of have like our mail basket it's just a basket with a bunch of mail in it uh, this is a plant that my friend sent to me uh, it's a propagation and I can't wait to plant it I got it in there for about a week now so we'll see and then we have my Google home right there what's really cool about the Google home is that whenever the doorbell rings I can actually see who's at the door while I'm cooking or something like in the kitchen and it's really cool I can talk to them but yeah I have some decor pieces some fall decor pieces that eat drink and be scary I think I got from Michael's uh, the cute candle for some reason it's so hard to find candles of this shape I don't know why then we have some pumpkins of different textures i really like the wooden pumpkin that was like something that i noticed this year when i went shopping and i really like it and i think this glass one this blown glass one is from world market i think the wooden one might be from target moving on i have this new thing that i just recently got it is a countertop compost bin so you can put your scraps in here and leave it in it doesn't have any odors because it's sealed up top it's stainless steel on the inside I'm not opening it because I have stuff in there and then this is just wood so technically it's a, a stainless steel container but the wooden exterior just makes it look pretty and I think it does perfectly sits on the countertop there and I have a composting situation outside so when this gets full I just take it outside over here this went really viral a few years ago I don't know if anybody remembers it anymore but it's basically a macram macrame basket for your fruit and veggies so you can kind of hang it underneath your cabinets which is exactly what I did and you could put your fruit and veggies right there instead of having like a basket on the counter and taking up counter space it kind of hangs I think it's super unique and I love it so much <laughs> I just recently got it I kind of gifted it to myself for my birthday now this setup over here is something I've never seen before it is an over the sink drying rack um, because as you can probably tell I don't have a dishwasher nor a separate drying rack space the sink doesn't have one so this piece came with the house they left it for us which i think has really come in handy and 
obviously when you wash your dishes and you put it up top sorry the lighting's kind of funny the water just drips into the sink which makes it super handy I don't like that it takes up the window I want to get rid of it but this is gonna be like a project that ends up happening way down the line we'll see but for now it's super handy just have my usual dishwashing things I'm trying to swap out things right now so as you can see I have like plastics and stuff but I am slowly switching to more natural products and once these things are done I don't want to be wasteful and just throw them away so once they have reached the end of their life I will start transitioning and you can probably see from over here I'm doing that I have a bunch of natural sponges and cloths I have some fruit scrubbing brushes and like I said these are just natural material cloth so that you can reuse and rewash and wipe your countertops without using paper towels. If I can find them, I will link them below. This section might be my favorite section. This is my little coffee bar situation. Starting with this side, we have our little wooden stump. We got this stump from World Market. And then I got a bunch of jars. I think these were leftover jars that I got that was like in a gift when I moved in. But I have coffee in one jar. I have sugar in the other jar. Up at the back, we have this Tarani vanilla syrup. We have so much of it, but I just love the fact that I can have a flavored latte now and just make like cool drinks at home. If you guys didn't know, I used to be a barista, so this excites me. <laughs> and this is some leftover cinnamon sugar that I had from a recipe that I just recently made on the Conscious Root, and I don't want to waste it, so it's sitting there. Maybe I'll make a drink out of it or top a drink with it some, something like that I don't know this is my espresso machine it is a very budget-friendly brand name nobody knows about espresso machine I got it when we were budgeting to purchase this house and I just wanted coffee being able to get coffee at home espresso at home without needing to go out and buy it still works it works fantastically and it does have a steamer now I will say this machine works perfectly for making espresso, but I do not use it to steam milk. The way the steam works is that water pushes through this, but this makes it really watery. I don't know if it's the machine itself or what, but it just adds way too much water coming out of this, and I don't like that. So I don't use it, but it's fine otherwise. It was, I think, $200, which is incredible for an espresso machine. Usually those go for like $600. A cute bat mug right here over in the corner. That is a French press. I think I got that from Ikea. It was like $30. I like how sleek it is. A little decor piece right here. It's just a tiny cauldron with some skulls in it. Just purely decorative. And then of course the, the rod, the hanging rod here where I have coffee mugs, my Halloween coffee mug. These mugs are from various places. I think mostly Target over the past few years. And then over here, I got this espresso cup stand. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But I got it from HomeSense. I think it's really cute. They're very, very tiny cups. You can only fit a double shot of espresso in this. And then I just have some more decor pieces. And that is the coffee bar section. Over here, we just have the stove, oven, and microwave all came with the house. They're fantastic. That is the pot from our place. I purchased it myself. I love it so much. Let me know if you want a review on that. And then the final section of the kitchen. I don't know what texture this is, but it's got like dots on it. I got it from World Market. I like that it was like a beige color. And I just put a bunch of utensils in there. Then I also got this from World Market. It is a dark colored olive oil dispenser. Needed one of those desperately. And then I found these cute like fall pastas. One is from Trader Joe's, this one's also from World Market, and I just thought they were the cutest thing. Now, Ian asks me all the time, he's like, are you going to actually cook that, or are you just going to keep it there all year round, and then it's going to go to waste? I will eventually cook it, I just don't want to get rid of it from the display, I just think it's so cute there, so it's there for now. Um, and then over here, we have a couple of pumpkins, the black one, the... Uh, what is that basket woven kind of one the woven one is from target the black one i think is from michael's from a few years ago and i've mentioned this before but the black cat's hiss little jar that has logan's treats in it so it really does have cat treats in there and then the toaster the toaster was um something i got gifted when we first moved into the house it is an off-brand name but i wanted something that was vintage 
very much like Smeg, but without the price tag of Smeg. And this toaster works perfectly. It's vintage and it is a fraction of the price of a Smeg toaster. No hate to Smeg, love their products. It's just, I don't wanna pay $200 for a toaster. Uh, even though I did not pay for it, I got it as a gift. But anyway, over here, we have some cutting boards that I got from World Market. They're for decorative purposes. Ian also makes fun of me for that. <laughs> but you know, he just doesn't get it. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, and then I have a salt and pepper dispenser and then some bag of chips. This was from a little gathering that I had recently. I wanted so desperately to get those black and orange chips, so I did. And we have so much of it left over, so I left it out to display as well, because why not? I have pasta on display. Why not have chips on display too? And then finally, we have this very tiny, narrow shelf that we had to put in. Before we moved into this house, we noticed that there was a massive gap over here. Well, not massive, it's very thin, but it's noticeable when there's nothing there. And we so desperately wanted to fill it in, especially because because as you can see, in this kitchen, we don't have a pantry. So we needed some sort of pantry space or at least an open space for pantry storage. And so we thought this would be the perfect spot. Somehow we were able to find a shelf, I think on Wayfair, we did so much research to find something that would fit perfectly in this spot. And Wayfair was the only place that we could find it. It fits perfectly. It's, it's almost like it was meant to be there, right? Quite simple just regular shelves. I don't know if you want to see a fridge tour. It's kind of messy right now, so I'm not going to show you that. It's lovely compared to the fridges that I was used to when I was living in apartments, for sure. All right, friends. I hope you liked that kitchen tour. It was so much fun sharing it with you. It's just been experimenting, and I'm just having a lot of fun with it and taking it slow and steady. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if anything stood out to you. Let me know how you decorate your space, if it's similar to me or if it's completely different than me, I would love to know. But yeah, if you've made it this far in this video, definitely hit subscribe. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to this channel. I think I would love to try doing like some cozy beverages in my next video. Let me know what you think about that. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments, but thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.